Hi, welcome to Lord's Pandora. We made it to a thousand subscribers, finally. <laughs> I am just videotaping this video to say thank you. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. It really like encourages me to keep videotaping fun crafts that I do and stuff like that, but we made it. So, I haven't really posted recently because of this whole mm, coronavirus thing going on and it's like, okay, I can't really go to the store today and should I risk it? I don't know. So I've just kind of been using the stuff I have and I've been doing other crafty things. I just haven't been uh, videotaping it. So I thought, well, maybe this is the time to kind of change it up and have it be more of a, a vlog of like, I seriously craft every single day. I just don't always videotape the steps I do because sometimes the steps are just so simple that it's like, it would be a one minute video. <laughs> this is what I did. This is what I made, sort of thing. Um, super, super easy. So. I'm going to show you what I've been doing and show you how it is kind of simple crafts that I'm just like, I don't know if this is worth a videotape. All right, so let me show you what I've been doing. All right, so the first craft I'm going to show you is this cute Easter banner that I made. Really simple. You just kind of cut a longer burlap sign or piece, like a rectangle piece, and have it fold over and hot glue it to the string. Cut out these decorative pieces, bunny rabbits, super easy, and a carrot. Hot glue it down the middle and hot glue these extra pieces on. And then blanket stitch all the way around. And there's just three carrots and two bunnies. Super easy to make, probably like, take like an hour or less to make this. So. I made this, <laughs> my kids are home from school of course, so I made this and I thought, this is so cute, I've got a bunch of ladies that um, craft with me and stuff, so so I made about 30, 30 of these kits, and let me show you those. So I've cut out the five squares, or rectangles, I mean. And then down below here is all the packets that I've created. So two cutout bounties, three orange carrots, the green stuff, and all the string, the two little tails, and it comes with a needle. So since you can't really meet and craft together, these ladies are just going to come pick them up. And some are going to come, but I'm limiting it only to two or Two or three ladies at a time to come to my house and craft. Just, you know, to be an extra super safe. So that's the first craft that I've been doing. Okay, this is the second craft. I saw these on Pinterest and I thought, oh my goodness, I can totally make those. So I just cut out uh, this wood painted it kind of a light orange so you can still see the grains of the wood and then let that dry and then created these lines with brown and then after that dried I just kind of watered down some of the brown and put that on the carrot so that it looks more rustic. I drilled a hole right here and so I could insert it and hot glue the green raffia onto it made one longer carrot and two shorter ones. So this one I also made a bunch of kits for, for the ladies that come over and craft with me. And let me show you that. Okay, so here's a bunch of the wood cut out. I think I might need to make double this amount because more ladies signed up for this one and they want just more than three in the set. Some of them wanted like six or Nine. So I'm going to have to probably run to Home Depot and get a couple more wood, maybe one more shorter wood piece. 
sand. It, with these, I still need to sand the edges and drill the holes and stuff. And then there's more green uh, raffia coming in the mail. And I'm just going to group three together with a clump of raffia. And then just have them take it from my house and just have them paint on their own time sort of thing. And this would be a fun project to do with kids. Because really it's just plain orange paint that, I mean, like a rustic orange paint that you first paint on. And then the decorative parts could be done by an adult sort of thing. Super easy. So they're not getting this craft for another week. They're getting the burlap sign this week and then next week they're going to come pick this up. So I've got time to rearrange and organize this, these kits. All right, let me show you the next project that I've been doing. Okay, so this is the next project I've been doing. I've been making face masks for a lady. Um, she needed about 30 of them. And I've just made 20 so far and I've sent those to her and she's picked them up and stuff and then I'm making the last 10. So they're going to have elastic that comes around for the ear part right here and right here. Super easy pattern. I just cut out, measured my head, face part where I wanted to cover, created the pattern and then just did two pieces of fabric batting in between. And I'll just sew on that line, cut all the extra off and then put this Okay, so I'm just going to be zigzagging the elastic all the way around, pulling it while I go so that the, this bunches up and fits around the face sort of thing. So I just need to finish that, probably get that all done today, and I'll show you another project that I also have been doing. Okay, so the next thing that I've been doing is a lot of seed starts. So around this time, March time, is when you can start starting seeds for outside your garden. So these are all tomato plants. I did a full tray because this year we're going to be planting a lot of vine tomato plants, which you think, well, that's a lot of tomatoes, but you can actually plant these a foot and a half apart with the proper um, structure to hold them all, this vine plant, uh, together. <clears throat> so a big chunk of this is going to be vine plants um, that I'm going to be growing. And then I'm going, those far ones over there are bush um, determinant or indeterminate plants. Determinate plants that are bush tomatoes. And I'll probably only use two. So all these other ones, I'm going to be giving them away to neighbors and friends and family members that also have gardens that they need. So I've just been uh, thinning them out and just plucking them out and replanting them here. So I'm going to get double the amount of tomatoes, it seems like. There. I've also been growing a lot of herbs that kind of help with the flu and virus, like immune system sort of thing. So these are like cone flowers, and I've got some basil, some lavender, some marigolds for pest control of the garden and stuff. Then over here, I am growing a ton of different peppers. And so this is the time also to plant peppers and tomatoes in March. They take about six to eight weeks to grow and are ready to be transplanted the first, the last day of frost, which is in May. So we've got some lemon balm right here and some lavender that's starting to poke out. I started those like three weeks ago. They take a little bit longer to poke out. So let me show you where I'm going to be putting all these things and what I've been building craft-wise for these different plants. So this is what I've been making. I've just been making a bunch of 
palette garden boxes. So this is the the structure part of the palette that I just took apart. The flat part I just cut down the middle to create the pathways. And then I just kind of screwed in the ends, filled it full of good dirt, and I've just been planting stuff. So I've got lettuces and spinaches and stuff over here. And over here I've done onions. And then I've put some marigold plants out here just to see if they kind of survive the cold. They're barely hanging on there. So I've put down some leaf litter at the base to kind of control the weeds. And then eventually when I get in, when the dirt comes, gets in, I'll put in really good dirt and start continue planting more shallow vegetables in these spots. So more lettuces and radishes and leeks and onions and garlic and that sort of thing. Then these boxes were actually crates that my husband brought home. He's like, hey, do you want these? And I'm like, yes. So they're much deeper and I'm going to fill them all the way up to the top. And this is where I'm going to be putting the vine tomato plants. So probably three in, in between each post. And then peppers probably right here in front of them. And I'll have them vine up and probably go up and over to create kind of a tunnel for my kids to play in. Be able to pick tomatoes and peppers and stuff easily. So that's what I've been making. And like I said, it's kind of a craft that wouldn't very, take very long to explain how I built it. Just took apart the pallets and then screwed them together in this kind of form. So, that is it. So, those are my projects that I've been working on for the past couple weeks. And you can kind of see why I haven't filmed them because they're so kind of simple and pretty doable. And, and really it would only be like one or two steps that you'd have to do. Like just looking at the picture or whatever, it's like, oh, I could totally do that. Anyways, but um, with the kids being home from school for the next couple weeks, I'll probably be doing more kid crafts and stuff. Like we recently just painted some bunnies for the kitchen area. They helped me paint those, and then and then um, sewed some carrot bags like I wanted to do some fabric carrot bags for Easter egg hunting and stuff I'll we'll put little goodies in them and stuff so more kid crafts and I probably won't be filming those I'll just be making them with my kids and enjoying them but I'll keep you updated of you know the next things to make it'll be a lot of entertaining the kids and different crafts and different goo or play-doh and stuff like that just so they don't fight with each other <laughs> um, it's like you gotta keep them busy or they will get into trouble and stuff and that's kind of mainly why I've been doing the gardening and stuff because I know that'll keep them busy with watering and weeding and planting and helping me move rocks and and stuff like that so in a couple weeks that'll be picking up for because the weather's turning warmer and stuff so I'll be able to transplant more plants outside and grow more things like peas and melons and stuff inside but anyways I just want to say thanks so much for subscribing and getting me to that thousand subscribers like I have wanted to get to that point so badly for the past couple years and now I'm here I just need to keep going and keep making fun things and keep being creative especially during this time when it seems like the world's going crazy it's like well that you just need to increase your creativity to match the craziness so that everything's calm everything's good and 
you find ways to work out your issues and your problems that you have. So, thanks so much, and I hope this inspires you to go out and craft and use the stuff you have in your basement, in your closet, whatever. Look at it and say, okay, this is the time to finish that project that's been in the closet for a year so, or I could make this into a pillow, or I could make this into something beautiful today, so thanks so much.